because Sunday, Clara, we're going to start to see some rain chances move in. And they could be locally heavy at times, but it won't rain the entire day on Sunday. This is what you need to know this weekend. Clouds are going to increase tomorrow, that's for sure. Most of the day, though, should be dry. Showers will arrive late tomorrow evening, and then that's going to set us up for some occasional rain all day on Sunday. Hope you spent some time outside earlier today. Absolutely gorgeous weather. 68 degrees the high in Harlington, 69 in West Lacoste, 70 even. Baron Brownsville, 71 degrees the high in Rio Grande City as well as in McAllen. Of course, as is typical, we're usually the warmer spot down here in South Texas across the state. We've got sub freezing temperatures up in the northern part of the state and into the panhandle. And that's where we actually find some winter storm alerts all the way from Lubbock and Amarillo, stretching through Abilene near Dallas, down to near Austin as well, Waco included, and a couple of counties away actually from the north side of the Houston metro area. All these areas in blue and a winter storm watch for some accumulating snow on Sunday. As we look here as how much snow that could fall, we're looking at about maybe three to four inches of snow for uh, areas near Waco and maybe six inches or more toward Abilene. So a Texas winter storm for the northern half of the state. Of course, down here in the valley, we have no threat for winter weather. It is going to be uh, all rain here by Sunday. Nice and quiet the weather on the way for the rest of the night. And we're waking up in the morning to partly cloudy sky conditions. We should be able to squeeze in some sunlight early before the clouds build in throughout the day. Temperatures at 7 o'clock, 49 degrees, warming up slowly into the upper 50s by 9 a.m. Into the afternoon, we'll have those middle 60s for highs as clouds continue to increase. But as I mentioned, the day should be dry. As we look at future casts, we can see that the cloud cover will be thickening up throughout the day, uh, but not much green showing up here. It's not until tomorrow night that we start to see a few showers break out. And then by Sunday morning, it's likely that we're going to have widespread light sort of rain. Nothing incredibly heavy at this point. We're well away from the cold front. But then by Sunday afternoon, as the front sort of works its way across the valley and taps into some slightly warmer air, we'll probably be able to squeeze out some heavier downpours and maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder. But at this point, it looks like the better threat for any severe weather will either be offshore or to our north and east toward Corpus and maybe the Houston metro area. But one way or another, uh, I do expect some heavier downpour Sunday afternoon. And hopefully we can get some meaningful rain totals because we certainly need the rain. And we're looking at the potential for about one half inch of rain up to one inch of rain if we're lucky. And in some cases, we may not get a tenth of an inch. And unfortunately for the Upper Valley, that's exactly where we need it the most because we're in an extreme drought there. But hey, we need the rain everywhere across the valley, and we at least have that chance by Sunday. Monday and Tuesday of next week, the focus shifts from rain to cold. We're going to be looking at highs only in the 50s and morning lows there Monday night into Tuesday. 39 degrees. We'll have a gradual warm up by Wednesday and Thursday, but it looks like highs stay below average for most of next week. Clara? All right, so it's going to possibly look like it's going to rain tomorrow because of yes. those increasing clouds, but it should mm -hmm. be a nice day out of the weekend. Yeah, I think so. You